<laughs> right. A Broken Time is a game about a German veteran, Christoph, who acted as a spy in the First World War. As a spy, he was responsible for a number of fatalities in the opposing forces, and as such has carried the burden of this throughout his life. Upon Christoph's death, before he is eternally judged in the afterlife, he must revisit his past as a spy in this broken time to lay his victim's wandering souls to rest. Armed with his camera and a briefcase full of memories, Christoph must take photos and use them to manipulate the world around him to restore and relive his victim's most cherished memories. The game's main mechanic is the camera, and with it, you, the player, can take snapshots of objects and environmental pieces to solve puzzles. The camera's film can hold images which the player can then view and place within the environment. For example, our team's door analogy was the first concept we used when initially driving the idea. Essentially, being a door without a door handle, the player can take a snapshot of an alternate handle from another location to then place on the original door to then progress through. From this, we develop further mechanics such as place and rotate, where the player can place an image of an object somewhere. These can then be rotated to activate or animate, such as a vinyl and a gramophone. There are also silhouettes. These can only be seen when you look through the camera. They must be lined up and connected via snapshots to trigger a correct placement. Another featured mechanic is the use of perspectives, of which the player can take a snapshot of an object, for example a large naval cannon, that can then be shrunk down to be placed on a model ship. The player's starting point is Christoph's crypt in the graveyard. As a wandering spirit, this will serve as the central hub to the game. In this hub, the player can explore the graves of his victims to access their memories using files within his briefcase. The briefcase also acts as an inventory or mission progress, giving the player guidance throughout the game. The video is showing the basic concept of gameplay mechanic, taking a picture and placing the objects elsewhere within the scene. This was something did not take me very long to mock up and shouldn't take me long to influence in the future. With it being the 100 year anniversary of the First World War, we thought we would commemorate this by creating a game that incorporated the look and feel of that era, but still keeping it modern and accessible. Gameplay unfolds the narrative of Christoph's character and is coming to terms with the burden he has lived and died with. As a broken time is a first person story driven puzzle game, we expect the game to fare well with teens and mature audiences, but overall we would like it to be a universal experience. As you can see, this is the development plan. From week one, we will begin concepting and implementing the mechanics to a basic standard. By week three, we will start playtesting so we know that the main mechanics are working as this is an important part of the game's design. All the areas in green are where we expect the more major parts of the game to be finished so we can then focus on everything else around it. Finally, by weeks eight and nine, we expect everything to be in place and finished so we can then start playtesting and polishing ready for protoplay. I've been Jay, uh, team leader and designer. I've been Matthew, character and level design artist. I've been Becky, concept artist and environment artist. I've been Monty, environment artist and technical artist. I've been Niall and I'm the programmer. And we've been Nine Idol. Thanks for listening. Yes. Oh yeah! <laughs>